Emporium. So, this is a game that I got because it just showed up in my Steam exploration queue. And it was, uh, during a sale, and it was like a dollar something, and it looked cool. It reminded me of uh, Inside. I have no idea what it's about, really, but um, it was highly rated and cheap and short, and uh, I'm told that I like it by Steam. So, let's play. Analogies for personhood, for the self, for consciousness, exert great power on our thinking, and to think of consciousness as a locked chamber, to think of the contents of that chamber as perception that will thus seem an inelegantly private, I have no idea what that word means, to think of our experiencing of the world as hidden, but hidden inwardly, Jerry L. Gary L. Hagberg. Well, that's a jumble of words that I have no idea what it means. That's impressive. Uh, okay. So... Basically, people are complex. Whoa. He had a bad thing happen to him. Oh, okay. Black Red, hiding place number 14, or the appearance of being organized. Fair enough, it's organized-ish, but there's nothing there. You can't organize nothing. The Black Red Hiding place number nine, or body of water. Uh, I don't really see a body of water there. I guess there's barrels of water, and that makes it a body, if you say so. Oh, hey, a person. Um,. Let's look at these other places first. The black red. Hiding place number six. Or wooden masks. Well, they're wooden. I don't know where the masks come from. Hiding place number zero. Ooh, mysterious. That's where the final battle will take place. And this this game with no battles, I'm sure. What's up, guy? What's up, faceless nothing man? The boy did nothing. Just looked at, oh, looked up at me. There was a flicker of recognition, and I felt like a time traveler. He seemed unsure of what to say next. Uh, my mother raised me poorly. He spoke of our mother's violence. 
For better distance. Her claws. Oh, I guess I'm... I guess I'm going in here. Are you coming with? No? Okay. RV town. I am shipwrecked this morning. Hold it over into sorry waves. Ooh, I like that. Water, water everywhere. Okay. Uh, it's bigger on the inside. More things to look at, and another guy. No? Just, just the guy, okay. Like, let's get our scenic view in place. There we go. Nice silhouettes. What's up, guy? I found myself busy in whispers with some kind of ocean. I didn't notice the boy by my side, staring out, counting the waves. Good luck with that. In a rushed fluster, the boy tugged my sleeve and beckoned my ear closer. Oh. A child is only a child once. I'd like to try and drown. Hmm. A child is only a child once is, is more profound, but I'd like to try and drown is more mysterious. Let's go with mystery. In a tremble, the boy, boy glanced, glanced down, sheet white and eyes agape. He said nothing, just clung to my hand tightly. And in that moment, I felt small enough to be swallowed up by the gasps, gaps in the deck. Okay. Going back then? Alright. Oh. It's a different place. This isn't an RV at all. This is a giant building. Hello, hole. How's your hole today? I didn't know what it meant to be young. Watching vomit pull into the carpet around my mother's head. Oh. Too weak and beaten to lend aid. I watched her convulsions study to a cold calm and laughed. Bulbous tears. You had a fun childhood, huh? Man, I bet this is going to be a really uplifting game. It's going to have a great, happy ending. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm alive. Okay, there's a boat here now. It wasn't there before. guessing I have to go through six of these experiences fill out the parking lot or seven I don't know explore this emporium oh 
Okay. New stuff. What's this? The black red hiding place number eight. Or dinner with mother. Oh, hey, she's hiding under there. Hey, mother. You're creepy. Uh, see you later. You're a bad parent. The other two places look the same. Okay. The middle one before was a, uh, uh, the stack of barrels. Uh, the plaque read hiding place number 143. Lots of places to hide. Wow. Or stationary. Ironic. Well, I guess I have to talk to you again, huh? I don't like you. You tip me to take me to weird places and scare me. I tried to remember what it was like to be young. Perhaps the boy would remind me. So who's narrating? Because when I go to, to look at things, it's clear that, that the moving character, the character I'm in control of, is, is the narrator. But now it seems like the guy in the chair is the narrator. Perhaps it would make a difference to remember what it would be like to be young. Being alone is part of survival. I can think myself invisible. Oh. These are such good choices. I can think myself invisible. The boy's voice deepened now. He spoke slow, low, and quiet. His words come at me as if from inside my own chest. Maybe that's just future him. And as they did, I swear I saw him blur around the edges. I had a heady notion to flee. The sensation had come fast and I found it intoxicating. I needed to vanish and have the void left in my wake shrink up behind me. Okay. Here's the train. Is there anything I can look at? around here I mean obviously there is but it seems like one of these things will give me a prompt oh hey dude hey uh, human blob How are the trains going? Poorly? I once lent on this bridge, ready to take myself over its barrier. Yep. Hoping for one of the ancient locomotives to rattle forth and run me through. I had waited a lifetime before I realized all the trains had stopped running. It was in this waiting that I first met the boy. So they're different people. Okay. Anything can crumble in an instant. To be still is to be peaceful. Though they're both true. I like to be still better though. The boy regaled me with our travels and commutes. That kinetic score of steam and metal. How we wished for silence. To be grave and static. No, that's not what I meant at all. You're taking the wrong message out of this slender man. Okay, bye trains. I 
Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks for showing me the way out. back here back in prison tower and here's here's this creepy window tell me more horrible things dude I'm still in peaceful and invisible I have a superpower that no one else knows about. I can turn invisible. I discovered this when I was six years old. I would let my breathing shallow and keep myself perfectly still. Before I knew it, I would fade into something almost like water and seep through every crack in the earth. I thought that was my power. Yeah, I think those guys are me. Looks ever more likely. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna keep waking up in a, a puddle of head blood. Not fun. Not a good time. Those shadows. Creepy. Hey, a desk. What's this about? The plaque red hiding place number 56. Or head office. Black, red, hiding place, number 23. Oh, hey, I'm hiding. That's me there, or Mr. Invisible. This kid's got some, uh, some serious childhood trauma. So his mother was terrible, and he decided that he could become invisible to avoid something? Tell me more. The boy looked ready for battle. His eyes darted, holding only to still me with a vicious glare. Pursed and tense, the boy seemed violent like never before. We can live forever? Are we going to die? We can live forever. His sentiment was like a weapon. I felt it dig under my skin. There's nothing more terrifying than forever. Well, into forever. Every horrid click and clack is tattooed across my body. Every smell runs thick as oil down my arms and fingers. I am poisoned by industry and at mercy to that bend of fleshy iron. suddenly became an actual game. How? Why? Bef 
before it was this weird art thing. Now, now there's like a maze and stuff. Okay. Here we go. We're back. We're back to weird. Okay. This is ridicule, I told the boy. This errant machine requires constant attention. No more will we mend and maintain. Let it turn to rust. The bones will scatter under their own weight. Let it carry you. The boy heard it too. That melodic auto automation of gears and guts. He urged me to engage. To find peace in that rhythmic human whisper. Maybe it's the guy living out his life and his childhood self is like a vision of him leading, leading on, giving him thoughts of the past. What would my childhood self do? This definitely isn't him. This is him in prison or something. Or an asylum. It's it's self-reflective. It's him in a chair staring down at the ground thinking. Is it calm where you are too? In this moment I can't really remember anything else. I just hear my own voice counting down over and over. It must have been a thousand years already. Well, that guy's definitely future me. Whether he's in a prison for doing something. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I forget every time. It also could be a time loop. That would make sense, though that doesn't explain why he is aging, if he's one of those other guys, or all of those other guys. Oh, it's empty. Hiding place number one. Nothing! It's an empty lot. Oh, it really is. Black reads, hiding place, number zero. Nothing! And there's no one in front of the- oh, the door's already open. I guess we can waltz right in. My life was built brittle, as if wooden. A simple toy. Without a full set, what remains will fragment. Perfect, 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 perfect. Little perfect, perfect, little perfect. Everyone does look kind of dollish. But that could very well be the art style. The boy searched for me without luck. He did, however, find where I was keeping a her. A wife in ruin and mother to a ghost. He spoke aloud, knowing I would hear. She is strong or you are weak. 
she is strong. My wife's perseverance was enough to bring us both through. She became motherlike to me. Why did I resent this? No, not resentment. I was a burden, a parasite held in embrace. to the pier. There's also a, uh, a picket fence and doors and other bits of stuff from everywhere. Okay. Wonderful geometry here. Hey, balloon. Can I take you? No? I can't move either? Well, okay. Bye. judging me. I'm gonna leave. No thanks to that. That's how I feel. What's in here? A sky? That's nice. Is there supposed to be some kind of jump scare or something? Because... If there was, I missed it. Oh, okay. All those wife dolls are coming to get me. Excuse me, can I come in? Thank you. All right. Well, I'm not jumping off the building. That's for sure. How's this, this door going? Badly. Alright. How's this ledge? You don't know? It's okay. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, have fun with that. Oh, this is new. The 
the Emporium seemed most fitting. Nearby retail expansions had left both my business and the building derelict. I'd often take my lunch on the roof during slow and sunny days. A quiet spot where no one would notice me. Yes, the Emporium seemed most fitting. I let my fingers and feet go numb as I wished the boy farewell. So, he got old and killed himself. Okay. Well. That was one of the most incomprehensible games I've ever played. I liked it. I'll play it again uh, on my own, maybe, to see what the different choices um, get you. But, uh, wow. Creepy, um, poetic, good art style. I wish I could say it good, had good music like I always do, but, uh, not really. Um, good ambient sounds, um, but, oh, creepy. Anyway, um, yeah, worth a buck. Um, so that's that. See you around.